Hi and welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we shared a beautiful sunset with you from our hotel room. The hotel that made this stunning view possible in the middle of the city was the Siva Royal Hotel. We had a nice corner room with comfortable bed, air conditioning, nice bathroom and a fridge. We paid a little over a thousand baht or 26 euros. Room only, so we didn't include breakfast. But hey, it's Thailand, so we had a good coffee and a cheese tosti in a 7-Eleven and we're good to go. For dinner, we tried a local restaurant close to the hotel. Now this was a bit of a challenge. There was no menu in English or one with the pictures. Only a Thai list to order. That's where Google Lens came in handy. We ordered a few different things and everything was exactly what we thought it would be. Except for one dish. The noodles with chicken. We didn't expect it to be chicken feet. That's something we are not used to eat in Belgium and we're not quite there yet to try it. But all in all, the food was very good. I think that he's must prove that it's a pittige salad. I have that not bestelled, eh? Yeah, you have that bestelled. I have a shrimp, I have a dinky. I don't know what it is. Ik kan niet zeggen wat ik weet. Het valt precies nogal mee. Wat is het verdikt? Het is uh, een beetje pittig. Mm -hmm. mm, maar ik weet niet wat de crunchy dingen zijn. <laughs> Want die is lekker. Ik denk dat het gefrituurde vies of zo. Het ziet er wel smakelijk uit, hè? Allee, het ziet er kleurrijk uit.
We then went to Kao Pu Kao Ya National Park, located about 40 kilometers northwest of the city. The name of the national park was named after the famous mountain in the area, especially the name Kao Pu, where local people believe the spirit of Tapu, half man, half god, is situated. Kilometers away from the park headquarters, you will find the Tam Macha Plawon cave. Unfortunately, we couldn't get in without a guide and permission. So disappointed we didn't get to see this cave, because inside there are three halls full of beautiful curtain-like stalactites and stalagmites, and also a 200 meter pond full of fish. So next time Patalung, we definitely book a guide. So that's it for now, we hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, take care and see you in the next one.